Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Fildner. I serve as the Chief Medical Officer at the Villages Health. Just as having regular medical checkups is essential to good health, often identifying issues that require a change in care to prevent problems, we've come to learn that the same is true about medical insurance. Because things do change, medical circumstances, previous policies, available options, we are encouraging all of our patients to have their medical insurance checkup during this open enrollment period. As your partners in health, we believe strongly in providing you with the information you need when it comes to both your health and your health care so that you can make fully educated decisions for yourself and your well-being. We've received great feedback from our patients about a session that we offer regularly at our care centers called What We Want You to Know About Medicare. Please allow me to introduce you to my colleague, Amy Deek, the Patient Engagement Manager here at the Villages Health. Here's Amy. So first things first, let's just make sure that we all understand the differences between Original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. So on this side of the screen, we have Original Medicare, which comes from the, comes from the government. You're right. So you get that card when you turn 65. It's the card that has the red and the blue stripe on it, and you have benefits. Part A covers what? Hospital. Hospital. Part B covers? Doctor or outpatient. How do you pay for your Part B? Okay, does everybody pay the same? No. What's it based on? Income. Income. You'd be surprised at how many people don't know that there is a difference. They know it comes out of their Social Security, but they don't know what comes out of their Social Security or why it comes out. So if you just had your Medicare card of the Medicare allowable, what percentage does that cover? 80%. 80%. So then what do you do for the other 20%? You pay. You, pay. you know what? Absolutely. So one option is I pay out of pocket. I, I cover the cost of that extra 20%. What else is an option? Okay, so let's talk about supplements or Medigap, okay? So do you just get that or do you have to purchase, purchase it? Okay, so then what happens with your prescription or your medications? So you have to get a plan. So on this side, you could potentially have three different entities in your healthcare, right? You could have Medicare, which is the government. You could have the, the supplement, the company that you purchased your supplement from. And you could have another company that you had your prescription plan from, right? Yeah. All right. So when we go over to the other side of the screen with Medicare Advantage, that is in the private sector. So in Medicare Advantage, you still get your A and B benefits. They still get paid the same way they do on this side. But in one company, one plan, one card, you have your prescription drugs, uh, Part D, and you have some additional benefits. And those additional benefits are the benefits that I'm going to talk about today. All right, here at the Villages Health, we prefer Medicare Advantage. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the reasons why. At the Villages Health, we actually create partnerships between our doctors and our patients. They work together of making decisions on their health. So the patient's the expert on their body, and the doctor is the clinical part, and together the two of them make decisions. So it would make sense that we would prefer an Advantage plan because that's primary care driven as well. That plan says that your primary care doctor is the one that can determine what's clinically appropriate for you, when it's appropriate and where it's appropriate. Your physician gets useful clinical data on you. For example, how many of you have had a colonoscopy? It's your favorite day, right? It was the best experience of your whole entire life. Do you remember the exact day and the exact year that you got it? No. But a colonoscopy is a very important preventive screen, screening, among other things. That's important information for your doctor to know so that they can make sure that they're reminding you or he or she's reminding you of when you're due. And every one of you may have been told a different time frame based on your family history, your medical history, and the findings that they found. That's important information to get. And in an Advantage plan, they actually send that data to your physician so that together the two of you can make a plan and make sure that you're on time for your screenings. Let's say you get diagnosed with a chronic disease like diabetes or congestive heart failure. In an Advantage plan, you actually have the ability, if you're diagnosed with one of those, of those things, to actually partake in a disease management program where you get extra resources, extra education, 
extra layers of clinical people that can help make sure that you are keeping up with managing that disease on a day-to-day -day basis. That's available in an Advantage plan. So one of the things that we get a little bit of pushback from patients is, I don't want somebody to tell me which group of specialists I can go see. I want to choose, I want to have freedom to choose wherever. But we actually think that the network of specialists that are credentialed, which means they go through a very rigorous process in order to be a provider in that plan, we think that's a very good thing. Because that means that those doctors have been checked to make sure their license is current, to make sure that they're board certified, to see how many, if there's any malpractice suits against them, the quality of care that they provide. So our physicians like the fact that those network of specialists are, are tight and they're credentialed because that means that we're handing over that patient to somebody who's gonna provide quality care. So the more clinically appropriate, I'm gonna provide an example. I think an example, a story, um, is much better than just kind of going through and telling you what uh, clinical advantages there are. So, for example, a patient goes into the emergency room. They are having, that patient is having some respiratory um, issues going on, a lot of coughing. If you've ever had a coughing fit where you maybe vomit, you can't sleep, you can't eat. So they go into the ER, they're feeling really rough. And that ER decides to put them upstairs in a room under something that's called OBS. You guys know what OBS means? Observation, that's right. So that patient gets to stay in the hospital for a wonderful day and a half. And then they decide that they're okay to go home. Well, if you've ever been hospitalized before, you know that when you go home, you sometimes feel just as bad or even worse than before you went. So when you get home, the first thing and the only thing you wanna do is go to bed. So let's say this patient walks through the uh, garage into the kitchen and across the living room, which most of us have to get to the to bedroom, and they get to the throw rug that's underneath the coffee table. And their foot, because they're kind of shuffling because they're just exhausted, their foot gets caught underneath that throw rug and they fall. And on the way down, they hit their wrist. Crack it right on the coffee table. But much like this right here, there's a corner. And so it scrapes your arm. So they call their doctor. I just got out of the hospital. I do not want to go back. I don't want to go back to the ER. Can I come see you? Well, absolutely, come on in. So they come in. That doctor wants to do the same thing for a patient that's a Medicare supplement patient and a patient that's a Medicare Advantage patient. They wanna send them someplace where they can get care around the clock, make sure that that cut does not get infected, make sure that they can watch them with their wrist and teach them how to do their daily skills now that they have a cast on, and make sure that they start to get stronger so that they're safe to go home. With a Medicare supplement patient, that doctor cannot send that patient to a skilled nursing facility from the office. Because Medicare says that that patient has to spend three midnights admitted to the hospital. Remember I said the patient was under what? So that midnight doesn't even count. Now the Medicare Advantage patient, that doctor can, because remember the doctor determines what's clinically appropriate and the most appropriate thing for that patient is to go someplace where they're gonna get round the clock care, make sure no infection happens, they don't need to go back to the hospital. So that's where that clinically appropriate and that um, being able to make those decisions on behalf of their patient comes in into the Advantage plan. So here's some other benefits that we feel are great benefits for patients in the Medicare Advantage um, plan or system. There's passport benefits. People here in the villages travel. And when they travel, they travel. They're gone for months at a time. So the chances of a, a villager needing to receive health care someplace when they're traveling is pretty great if they're there for two or three or maybe four months at a time. So Medicare Advantage plans, some of them have what's called a passport feature, which is where they can turn on or activate that passport feature where they're going so they can receive in-network benefits. And then when they come back here to the villages, they turn it off. Okay, so we found that that's something that villagers are really excited about having. Some of the extra benefits are dental. There may be uh, hearing, vision. Gym memberships like silver sneakers um, are available in some me uh, Medicare Advantage plans. There's a limit on the out-of-pocket costs for Medicare Advantage. There's a ceiling that that's the most amount that they would have to pay out-of-pocket. As well as no plan or no need to buy a Medigap 
or a supplement plan, pay out of pocket, like you said, might happen, or get a prescription plan. Because remember, it's all wrapped in to one thing um, in one plan in one card. We believe that Medicare Advantage is the, the best thing for our patients. We prefer Medicare Advantage. The only Medicare Advantage that we accept is United Healthcare Medicare Advantage. Because of that partnership, because of that contract that we have between um, United Healthcare and the Villages Health, we are able to provide other benefits to our patients that are United Healthcare Medicare Advantage. One of the things is hospital care. If you are a United Healthcare Medicare Advantage member and you are a Villages Health patient, you will actually be cared for by an employed Villages Health physician who is a hospitalist. And a hospitalist is someone who specializes in hospital medicine, so they're over there to take care of you while you're there. One of the other things is, is you'll get a social visit from your doctor. And what a social visit is, is your primary care doctor may not be somebody who cares for his patients or her patients over in the hospital, but they're going to come see you when you get admitted and actually check in with you, let you know that they've talked to the hospitalist that's taking care of you, that they've worked out the plan and to make sure that everything's okay and if there's anything that you need. Also, we have nurse navigators. Nurse navigators are part of your medical team. They're the clinical liaison, the clinical person that's between you at home and your physician and medical team in the doctor's office. If you've ever had to transfer from the hospital home, it can be a very, very overwhelming, stressful experience. You have to find out how to get your medications, there might be new equipment, different things like that that you need at home. That nurse navigator is there to help make that transition seamless for you. They actually come see you in the hospital, make sure you understand what's, what's happened at the hospital, your diagnosis, what the doctor has said, as well as are you prepared to go home? Do we have everything that we need? They also will come out to the home and they're the person that's communicating. They're part of your medical team and, and talking to the doctor and making sure that you have everything that you need. And the last thing is, is here in the villages, we actually have face-to-face -face customer service for United Healthcare Medicare Advantage patients where you actually can go into the Lake Sumter Landing store and you can actually talk to somebody face to face. When you have questions about your benefits, maybe you have an upcoming surgery that's coming and you want to plan financially for what is, it's going, is that benefit gonna cover? What if I have to go into a rehab? Is there anything that I'm gonna have to pay? All of those questions that you all probably cover with somebody, but we don't remember that until we need it. So they can come and actually come in here to um, Lake Sumter Landing, the Medicare store, or they can call in. And it's very valuable for them to have somebody who's located right here in the villages, who know the villagers. All right, so the Medicare store, we have one in every one of our squares. They look like this. They're a great, great resource for anybody who is Medicare eligible or going to be Medicare eligible. You can walk in at any time and start having that conversation, make that connection with somebody who can be your resource. Because Medicare can be confusing, it can feel overwhelming at times, and to be able to come in and start that conversation and have that relationship with someone that when you go home and think of 10 more questions, you can now call them. And that's that person that's gonna help you get through uh, open enrollment or the elections that you have. Open enrollment is right now, started on October 15th, it ends, December 7th. So I would encourage you to go talk to somebody and compare what you have and what is available to you. Sit down and go line by line with what you have, what your medications are, what your clinical issues are, what your needs are, and go sit and talk with someone who is an expert on insurance, because I'm not, and they can sit down and individually go through and tell you what is the best choice for you and continue to get that information and ask those questions until you feel like you are confident in making a decision.